Hello everybody! In this video I would like to present you a special piece of art. This beautiful harbord was created by Ulrich Langbein, by the way the same who made my battle sword and my manguel. This harbord is very long as you can see and has an extra long tip. Harbords I have used so far were a little shorter overall and the tip shape was different. I already wrote in the title of the video that this one is a bodyguard weapon. How do I know that? I guess we should take a closer look at harbords generally first. There are early forms from the 14th century but also late forms until the 17th century. These weapons were first used to a notable extent by the Swiss army. At that time this weapon was relatively new and classical heavy cavalry units had a hard time with this new way of warfare. Of course it was not only the weapon itself but also new infantry tactics that more and more heralded the end of an era dominated by armored cavalry. As you can often see on contemporary pictures, the harbor type of this time was more or less about man high, maybe a bit longer, had a short point and a relatively straight axe edge. The weapon was used for military purposes and belonged to the standard armament of the infantrymen, next to spears, murder axes, pole axes, but especially firearms. However, this trend declined over time, until by the end of the 16th century, harbors were hardly to be found in the ranks of soldiers. At this time, firearms such as crossbows and handguns dominated, especially in European urban armies. And this also changed the shape of the harbor, which was now mainly used by guards or in a more civic context. But you can also see more and more in contemporary art. The tip became longer as did the shaft, also the axe blade changed more and more into curved shapes. Basically harbors were carried by Landsknechts until the pike and shot era, but they were mainly used for guard duty and were only occasionally found in conjunction with battle swords and a few battle lines behind the pikemen for providing a bloody relief in a clash with enemy troops. There such weapons were more likely to be found guarding officers or goods patrolling outside formations and escorting caravans. In this video you can see a bodyguard harbor. The cutting edge is curved. Unlike the straight blades used in most of the older military operations of the 14th and 15th century and the tip is really long. Thus we can assign a more likely civilian background to this harbor. I would like to date this reproduction around the 16th century. Regarding the use of that kind of harbor, I can say it is excellent for keeping opponents at a distance or to push larger groups and keep them at bay. And the user of this weapon has a safe distance to a potential threat. But of course, this has a massive effect on the handling. Striking are possible with this weapon, but they do not have the necessary power to be really effective. Also, the execution of striking is a bit more difficult compared to other types because of the overlength. For this you have to use the field guard so that it still works properly. But especially stabs are really good with this weapon and the preferred action. So let's take a moment to see how the weapon makes me sweat. And by the way I played around a bit with using two weapons here. I think it was sometimes necessary to draw and use a shorter weapons in close quarters. To drop the harbor every time would be unnecessary, right? And I must say it works quite well. Also reminds me a bit of Talhofer's dual shield pictures. But anyway, it is a great fun. Okay, so if you plan to get a harbor for your own training, you should pay attention to the type you choose and the techniques you could learn with it. But it is best to get two, because then we can get the full enjoyment of this wonderful weapon. So do you want to know more about the staff weapon? Then I recommend you to watch the complete series here in my channel. Have fun with it and see you soon. 